Welcome to RC Golf Channel. How to swing the driver. What's up golfers? Welcome back to RC Golf. In today's video we're diving into the nitty gritty of the driver swing. We're putting the spotlight on what you need to feel and do during each phase, from ball position to the follow through. We'll break down Tiger Wood's powerful and precise driver swing frame by frame, providing a unique perspective on the mechanics that have made him a true icon in the world of golf. But here's the twist, we're forgetting about that sneaky little ball. Instead, we're focusing on the art of swinging the driver itself. So, if you're ready to elevate your swing game, let's get started. Ball position and body set up. Let's kick things off with ball position and body set up. Place the ball just inside your left heel for right hand golfers. Set feet together. Step to the right to get a shoulder width apart. Set the right shoulder lower than left, creating a tilted spine. Flare left foot about 20 to 30 degrees. And right foot just about 10 degrees. Set the club behind the ball on its lower up point. Bump your left hip up and feel the ground beneath you. It's the canvas on which we'll paint the masterpiece of your swing. But before going further, we must pay attention to Tiger Grip. He tends to use a neutral grip, meaning that both hands are positioned squarely on the club. This allows for a more natural release of the club head through impact. It's like finding the perfect rhythm in a song. Control and harmony are the key. Tiger Woods' backswing with the driver is a masterpiece of precision and power, embodying the essence of his remarkable golf technique. Tiger initiates his driver backswing with a controlled takeaway ensuring that the club head moves away from the ball smoothly and on the correct plane. His takeaway is characterized by a slight wrist hinge, allowing for a gradual buildup of power without sacrificing control. As Tiger continues his backswing, he emphasizes a connected and one-piece movement of his arms, hands, and shoulders. This unity in motion contributes to a consistent and well-coordinated swing. Tiger's backswing achieves a full and powerful shoulder turn. He rotates his shoulders away from the target, maximizing the coiling effect in his torso. This turn generates substantial torque, setting the stage for an explosive downswing. Tiger starts the downswing by transferring his weight from his back foot to the front foot, initiating the movement with a subtle shift of the hips. He preserves the lag angle between his arms and the club, ensuring a powerful release at the right moment. Focus on maintaining a slight wrist hinge during the early downswing. Feel the club lagging behind your hands. Tiger releases his wrists with precision, adding speed to the club head at impact. Focus on a controlled and well-timed release of the wrists through impact. Feel the energy transfer from your body to the club head smoothly. Aim for a full extension of your arms post-impact. 
he slots the club into an inside path, promoting a straight and controlled shot. Visualize a path that comes from slightly inside the target line. Imagine the club head tracing a shallow loop as it approaches the ball, reducing the chances of a slice. Tiger's follow-through is characterized by a balanced and athletic pose. His body rotates fully toward the target. Use a neutral grip with both hands, ensuring the V formed by the thumb and forefinger points towards your right shoulder for a right-hand golfer. Align your feet, hips, and shoulders parallel to the target line. Position the ball off the inside of your left heel for a right-hand golfer. Stand with your feet shoulder-width apart, creating a tilted spine. Set the club behind the ball on its lower arc point. Flare your left foot about 20 to 30 degrees and right foot just about 10 degrees. Bump your left hip up. Initiate the backswing by turning your shoulders and hips together. Keep the club head low to the ground and the wrists firm in the early part of the takeaway. Maintain a straight left arm and a slight bend in the right elbow. When the club is halfway back, the shaft should be parallel to the ground. Ensure the club face is square. Rotate your shoulders fully to achieve a full backswing. At the top, the club should be parallel to the target line and your wrists should hinge naturally. Keep your head steady and maintain a balanced posture. Let's talk about where to keep your eyes. Forget about the ball. During the backswing, let your eyes follow the rotation of your shoulders. During the downswing, focus your eyes on the spot where the club head was behind the ball and only and only after the follow through allow your eyes to follow the flight of the ball start the downswing by shifting your weight from the right side to the left this should be initiated by your lower body allowing your hips to lead the way remember it's the lower body that generates that explosive power Start the downswing by shifting your weight from the right side to the left, keeping your wrist angle with the club for later unleashed. Slot the club into a position to approach the ball from an inside out path. Allow the club to release naturally through impact. Extend your arms fully in the follow through with the club finishing high and around your left shoulder. A balanced finish is crucial. Stand on your left foot with your weight fully transferred. Finish with your chest facing the target. There you have it. Tiger Woods inspired driver swing. Remember, good practice makes perfect. So head to the driving range. Video record your swings. And identify areas for improvement. If you can, work with a golf professional to receive personalized feedback tailored to your game. Hard work pays off. If you like this video, 
please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.